Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at different S3 storage classes. Amazon S3 offers a range of storage classes designed for different use cases. Each class has a different offering and pricing. Storage classes can be configured at the object level, which means objects in the same bucket can be stored in different classes. You pay different rates for objects in different classes. S3 standard class is designed for 99.99% availability. Data is stored across at least three availability zones. S3 standard class is recommended for frequently accessed data. S3 standard and frequent access class is designed for 99.9% availability. Data is stored across at least three AZs. It's recommended for infrequently accessed data, but require rapid access when needed. S3 one zone and frequent access class is designed for 99.5% availability. Data is only stored in one AZ. You can potentially lose data in the event of one zone destruction. It's recommended for infrequently accessed data that requires no redundancy. S3 intelligent tiering is designed for 99.9% availability. Data is stored across at least three AZs. It automatically moves between S3 standard and standard IE class. It's recommended for data with unknown or changing access patterns. S3 Glacier class is designed for 99.99% availability. Data is stored across at least three AZs. It's a lower cost storage class for data archiving with retrieval time from minutes to hours. S3 Glacier Deep Archive class is designed for 99.99% availability. Data is stored across at least three AZs. It's the lowest cost storage class for data archiving with retrieval time within 12 hours. S3 storage classes are often used with S3 lifecycle management and storage class analysis for cost optimization. S3 standard class is designed for frequently accessed data. It's designed for 99.99% availability. Data is stored across at least three availability zones. S3 standard is appropriate for a wide variety of use cases, including cloud applications, dynamic websites, content distribution, mobile and gaming applications, and big data analytics. You pay per gigabyte storage rate and API calls, there is no data retrieval fee. S3 standard has low latency and high throughput performance. You can immediately retrieve objects. S3 standard IA classes for data that is accessed less frequently, but requires rapid access when needed. It's designed for 99.9% availability. Data is stored across at least three availability zones. It's ideal for long-term storage, backups, and data store for disaster recovery files. With S3 standard IE you pay a lower per gigabyte storage price than S3 standard. However, you need to pay for the data retrieval fee. It has the same performance as S3 standard. S3 one zone IA class is for non-critical data that is accessed less frequently, but requires rapid access when needed. It's designed for 99.5% availability. Data is stored in one availability zone only. It's ideal for storing secondary backup copies of data or easily recreatable data. For instance, it's commonly used with S3 cross-region replication to store a secondary backup. With one zone IA class, you pay a lower per gigabyte storage price than standard IA class, as well as the data retrieval fee. It has the same performance as S3 standard. S3 intelligent tiering is designed to optimize cost for data with unknown access patterns. It automatically moves objects between S3 standard class and S3 standard IA class, based on the usage pattern. It's designed for 99.9% availability. Data is stored across at least three AZs. S3 monitors access patterns of objects in S3 intelligent tiering, and moves objects that have not been accessed for 30 days to the infrequent access tier. If an object in the infrequent access tier is accessed, it's automatically moved back to frequent access tier, without any performance impact. You pay the same rate as either S3 standard or S3 standard IA, and a small monthly monitoring fee, there is no retrieval fee. It has the same performance as S3 standard. For compliance reasons, you are required to archive certain data for a fixed time, and provide very infrequent access to auditors. Both S3 Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive are storage classes for archiving data. You can directly manage S3 Glacier classes and archive data using S3 console or API. Please note that there is another AWS archive service called Amazon S3 Glacier service. It was originally called Amazon Glacier and rebranded to Amazon S3 Glacier. It's a separate AWS service. Amazon Glacier service uses the concept of vaults 
whereas S3 Glacier Storage class uses the concept of buckets. Previously you had to use lifecycle management to move S3 objects to Amazon Glacier. In November 2018, Amazon introduced a new feature in S3, which allows you to directly archive objects inside S3 buckets. S3 Glacier class is for archive data with retrieval time ranging from minutes to hours. You can reliably store any amount of data, at costs that are competitive with, or cheaper than on-premises solutions. S3 Glacier is ideal for archives where data is regularly retrieved, and some of the data may be needed in minutes. S3 Glacier Deep Archive class is for archive data with retrieval time from within 12 hours. It's the lowest cost storage class, which supports long-term retention and digital preservation, for data that may be accessed once or twice in a year. It is designed for customers in highly regulated industries, such as the financial services, healthcare, and public sectors, that retain data for 7 to 10 years or longer, to meet regulatory compliance requirements. S3 Glacier Deep Archive can also be used for backup and disaster recovery. It's a cost-effective and easy-to-manage alternative to magnetic tape systems. Both S3 Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive classes have 99.99% availability, and store data across at least three AZs. You pay a much lower storage fee and a higher data retrieval fee. You might still see a legacy S3 storage class called Reduce Redundancy class on AWS console. However, it's not recommended, as it's less cost-effective than S3 standard class. Here's the performance chart of S3 classes. All S3 classes can provide 11.9's durability. However, one zone IA only provides 11.9's durability in one AZ. S3 standard class, Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive are designed for 99.99% availability. AWS provides SLA and guarantees 99.9% availability. S3 Intelligent Tiering and Standard IA class are designed for 99.9% availability, with SLA of 99%. All S3 storage classes except one zone IA store data across at least three availability zones. For S3 Standard class, the smallest object can be zero bytes. You won't pay for minimum capacity per object. However, for Intelligent Tiering, Standard IA, One Zone IA, Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive classes, you need to pay for a minimum capacity charge per object. For instance, if you store an object smaller than 128 kilobytes in S3 standard IA class, you will be charged for 128 kilobytes of storage. S3 intelligent tiering charges a small tiering fee and has a minimum eligible object size of 128 kilobytes for auto tiering. Smaller objects may be stored, but always charged at the frequent access tier rates. S3 intelligent tiering, standard IA and one zone IA storage are charged for a minimum storage duration of 30 days. Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive are charged for a longer minimum duration. Objects deleted before the minimum duration incur a prorated charge, equal to the storage charge for the remaining days. You need to pay a data retrieval fee for S3 Standard IA, One Zone IA, Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive. S3 provides first byte latency of milliseconds for S3 Standard, Intelligent Tiering, Standard IA and One Zone IA. The retrieval time for Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive is from minutes to hours. When you choose a storage class, you need to consider the access patterns and cost effectiveness. Each storage class has a different storage rate and data retrieval rate. For instance, S3 standard class has the highest data storage rate, but charges no retrieval fee. S3 Glacier Deep Archive has the lowest data storage rate, but charges the highest data retrieval rate and has longest retrieval time. Each region may have different storage and data retrieval rates. Let's look at the S3 storage pricing in the US East 1 region. S3 standard charges 2.3 cents per gigabyte per month for the first 50 terabytes, and cheaper rates for more data. S3 intelligent tiering charges either frequent access rates or infrequent access rates, based on the data access patterns, plus a monthly monitoring and automation fee. S3 standard IA charges 1.25 cents per gigabyte. S3 one zone IA charges 1 cent per gigabyte. Their cheaper storage options for data have less frequent access. S3 Glacier charges 0.4 cents per gigabyte. S3 Glacier Deep Archive charges the lowest storage rate of 0.099 per gigabyte. They're best suited for archiving cold data. S3 also charges different rates of API requests and data retrievals for different storage classes. S3 Standard and Intelligent Tiering have the lowest request rates. They charge 0.5 cents per thousand requests for put or list, and 0.04 cents per thousand get requests. They don't charge for data retrievals. Standard IA and One Zone IA have higher request rates. 
they charge 1 cent per thousand put or list requests, and 0.1 cents per thousand get requests. They also charge 1 cent per gigabyte for data retrievals. S3 Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive have the highest request rates. They also charge different rates for standard retrievals and bulk retrievals. For S3 Glacier, optionally you can pay a higher rate for expedited data retrievals. In this episode, we've learned S3 storage classes and their use cases. S3 standard is recommended for frequently accessed data that requires high availability and durability. It's suited for a wide variety of use cases, including cloud applications, dynamic websites, content distribution, mobile and gaming applications, and big data analytics. S3 standard IA is recommended for infrequently accessed data, but requires rapid access when needed. It's ideal for long-term storage, backups, and data store for disaster recovery files. S3 One Zone IA class is recommended for infrequently accessed data that requires no redundancy. It's ideal for storing secondary backup or easily recreatable data. S3 Intelligent Tiering is recommended for unknown or changing access patterns. It automatically moves between S3 Standard and Standard IA classes based on your access patterns. S3 Glacier is a low-cost storage class for data archiving, with retrieval time from minutes to hours. It's a reliable archival solution at costs that are competitive with on-premises solutions. S3 Glacier Deep Archive is the lowest cost storage class for data archiving, with retrieval time within 12 hours. It is designed for customers in highly regulated industries, that retains data for 7 years or longer, to meet regulatory compliance requirements. Okay, that's all for S3 storage classes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!